This is Peck's Beginner's Guide of Neo, Chapter 26, The Last Samurai. This is the final mission. Uh, this one is a toughie, but I will do my best to give you this guide. Alright, so we're going to start off by wave dashing inside the house. We're going to go right into this corner right here. Uh, switch to our hand cannon. Uh, at first I thought I was going to knock him, uh, this Oni, uh, Yokai out, uh, but... Luring him out is also a good thing too. So we're going to go uh, wave dash out. They won't be following us here. Getting ourselves prepared with our dual sword, Kekai, Carnage, Lightning. We're going to start off by using Sloth, dodge his first attack, then use weakness, then constantly keep attacking him. Um, he's going to be uh, pulling off like a wide range attack. So just dodge for that opportunity and then just keep punishing him. Alright, now we're going to go for the second yokai, which is the Machamp yokai. And the reason, he's the one that's holding a gate key for us to proceed uh, further into the mission. So, usual, sloth and weakness, Kekai, carnage, lightning. Then use the uh, guardian talisman to summon uh, Suzaku, just to take down his stamina. And then when as soon as it goes red, just immediately keep attacking him. Fortunately, for some reason, I uh, did not keep attacking him. I believe it's because he was going to uh, have some kind of resistant attack uh, that would like make him go berserk enough to like uh, regain his stamina. But anyway, I did it one more time. That made him go down. Use cross slash and finish him off with a few uh, low stance combo. And there you go. Now we're going to open this gate. And we're going to go right behind this rubble right here. We're going to have our matchlock. And we're going to uh, shoot that yokai that has the uh, hand cannon right there. Um, tip, uh, don't be trying to uh, uh, fight him directly or trying to fight him or trying to dodge your way out of him. Uh, his hand cannon does a one hit kill on you. So I recommend just doing this for safe precaution. And as you can see, uh, the Yokai's hand cannon does not hit you while you're behind this rubble. And switching there, since I was out of match lock, I used my hand cannon. Step back a little bit, and even so, the Yokai's cannon cannot hurt us. And there you go, I took him down. And that did alert the Scarecrow Yokai right there, so we're going to quickly climb up this tree right here. And then um, on our way, there is a corpse that so we're just going to loot right here. And then we're going to wave dash our way up. And we're going to sneak our way past this Machamp Yokai. And then there is going to be another Yokai with a Kusirigama and a Fox Yokai. Just constantly keep wave dashing your way uh, past that Revenant so that he won't shoot you with the Matchlock. And then just keep proceeding towards this gate to open, which there is a uh, checkpoint right here. We're going to be using that. Uh, so now we are going to be fighting one out of four bosses. The first one is a boss that we know of from the Sekiri, Sekiri Gahara. Uh, hopefully I said that right. His name is Otani. Basically a the floating uh, boss that was wielding two swords. Um, but anyway, yeah, so we're going to be fighting him again, uh, and he's tougher than he was before. So right now what I'm doing, I'm just wave dashing past all these yokais and remnants, uh, preceding my way up to the top, and we're going to be fighting Otani, and uh, once you see him, you'll know who, who that is. And we're going to get ourselves prepared with our dual sword with Kekai, Carnage, and then cover our dual sword with Lightning. And as soon as he comes out, just use Sloth and Weakness, dodge his attack, and then just use low, low stance combo, keep hitting him, and then just repeat the process. And then uh, he's going to eventually uh, use uh, his living weapon. So again, we're just going to keep attacking him and uh, refill his uh, Sloth and Weakness up. going to use his little weapon and then that's your chance to use water slash and then uh, 
finishing off with some uh, high stance combos right there, and there you go. Otani is again dead. So now we're going to proceed, go to the right. We're going to open this uh, gate right here, which is a shortcut to the uh, previous checkpoint that we were on. Using the checkpoint to replenish our uh, Omeo and our health. And we're going to proceed upstairs. And the next one, his name is Ishida. Uh, if you guys know, if you went to a mission with Mount Ibuki with the uh, Wind Dragon Spirit. So yeah, uh, go to your high stance, uh, kick high, carnage, uh, lightning. Soon, wait for him to use his first slash and then immediately uh, bash him with the water slash. And uh, keep on doing that just to take him down. He's going to be pulling that attack. I was, I wanted to do the uh, water slash on him right there, but apparently there is an attack which makes him, uh, which you're about to see right now. He would uh, immediately like strike his uh, spirit uh, right at you, which does a lot of damage. So I was just being careful right there. Uh, but yeah, uh, he's also tougher than his uh, last time we faced him. So right now, all I'm just doing is just dodging his attacks and then attack him with low stance attack. And then you can use the crystals right here to uh, block or use it as a shield uh, to, uh, you know, from his attacks. And then just repeat, just dodge and hit him with the low stance attack. Alright, and there you go. Ishida is once again dead. Alright, and then we're gonna go to the shrine right here. Once again, as a checkpoint and to replenish our Omeo and health. We are gonna be going back to that shrine because we're gonna be fighting uh, the Ma Champion Kai right here, which is blocking uh, our way to the next boss, the third out of four bosses, named Toyotomi. Uh, I'll say more about him after I take down this Ma Champion Kai. Uh, and yeah, uh, I would just like avoid him and just get to the gate. But the thing is, like, two things. One, let's say if you die for Toyo Tony, and then all of a sudden you gotta go through this guy again. Uh, and if you try to open the gate, he could kill you uh, with a slash or anywhere beyond that. So I'd rather just take him out right now so that you don't have to deal with him later on. And there you go. Alright, so. Uh, like I said, we're gonna go back to the shrine because not only to replenish our only own health, but to uh, switch a guardian spirit, which will help us easily take down Toyotomi. All right, so we're gonna switch from Suzaku to the uh, bull spirit, uh, Fuzushi. And then we're gonna go to Ready Jutsu and we're gonna switch uh, lightning talisman to water talisman. I don't believe he might have any elemental weakness, but I believe water is the best one uh, against him. Probably just to slow down his movement speed. But yeah, anyway, so we're gonna proceed through the gate right here, fighting Toyotomi, and just getting herself prepared. Carnage, Kekai, and then cover our dual sword with. Uh, water and as soon as the battle start we're gonna first just use sloth then wait for him to attack and then use weakness the reason instead of just using sloth and weakness because he would basically keep dodging your omeo magic until he attacks so do that step first so uh and again just wait for his attacks and then just punish him with a low stance combo and we're just gonna keep doing this until uh, we take him down with half health. And uh, you'll notice that I haven't been using a sloth and 
uh, weakness. Uh, just give you guys a heads up of how uh, Toyotomi attacks. Um, for those who don't want to like... Yeah, and you also need to have timing too as you saw from that damage right there. So I'll just uh, take your time... Take your time and have your timing of dodging his attacks so that you'll have the best opportunity to punish him with the low stance combo. And um, I will talk again until his uh, health goes to half or when he uh, says something during battle. gonna go to his second state which is uh, pretty much going to use his uh, pretty much he has a way of using his living weapon of his own without using guardian spirits so yeah once you do that go to sloth use weakness and then use the guardian spirit to use the Zushi to knock him out and then finish him off with a finishing blow and uh, there you go So now that we have uh, gotten the awards and everything, and right behind us, um, Sonata is going to become our ally to help us fight the last boss, which is uh, QB, uh, not Karama, even though it is a giant nine tails that we're going to be fighting. But yeah, as you see, uh, we go on the stairs and uh, we're not going completely go up. We're going to be using the uh, shard stones, um, which you. Uh, saw me uh, interact with one of the containers we're gonna use that to destroy one of the Amarita caves and the Amarita caves uh, basically uh, infinitely summons yokai and uh, just doing that destroys one of the caves um, but anyway we're gonna go to the shrine we're going to level up we are going to raise our heart to plus nine Just uh, checking my uh, armor and everything right here. And then while I proceeded up to the ladder, we we're going to go to the skill set right here. And uh, I'm, yeah, just on the uh, katana section, we're going to be unlocking uh, two, maybe three, uh, which is sword key and then relentless level one and two. And uh, like I said about, uh, uh, yeah, the Amarita Caves. So there are two of them. We've already taken care of one thanks to using the, uh, the Shardstone. And uh, yeah, so we're going to go inside here. And we're going to be fighting a horde of yokais and um, NPCs right here. And these NPCs are able to use Omeo Magic as well. So just be careful. And they also can uh, shoot uh, pistols as well. So we're going to be first fighting uh, this yokai. And we're going to have Sonata take care of the NPC. And I just use the uh, Guardian Talisman just to knock out this yokai. And then I'm um, just feeding it more Amarita so that enough for it to slow. And I'm just uh, fighting uh, this yokai. And then once he's dead, uh, the... Charge, yeah, the Amarita Cave should explode. And, like, if you do die from here and you go back, um, you do uh, start all over of fighting uh, where you start, which is like you see the NPC, but you won't be fighting any yokai on this one because you destroyed the Amarita Cave. Uh, but there'll be more after you, after this, so yeah, don't expect the. I mean, expect the worst. But anyway, yeah, so we're just uh, helping Sonata. Uh, pretty much gangbang this NPC right here. 
And I mean, it's just it's usual good tip. Just uh, just use cross slash and then just uh, punish him with a heavy attack. So anyway, the next one is going to be two fox yokais and another NPC. This one using the tobons. Pretty much what uh, Sasuke Sarutobi uses. And uh, we're just going to be fighting one enemy at a time. And unfortunately we're going to let Sonata take care of two enemies. But don't worry, it's not like there's like a like a livestock on Sonata. He's pretty much like Okatsu and uh, I forgot, I think Hashida, the ninja dude. Pretty much, yeah, like unlimited uh, health and lives. Well, I mean, he'll go down, but doesn't mean that he'll die immediately. That's what I'm trying to say. But, like I said, we're just going to be fighting uh, one at a time. Now, I took it now one of the Fox Yokai. We're going to be fighting the next Fox Yokai right here. And then, once he's down, we're just going to be taking down this NPC. taking now we're gonna go into the uh, next one uh, another NPC uh, I believe he's using the uh, Sephiroth sword and we're gonna be what we'll be finding is the uh, yokai with the hand cannon we're just gonna use sloth dodge his cannon then use uh, weakness then another dodge then use guardian talisman cross slash finishing blow I'll take him down easily and then we're just gonna be finding the NPC right here and then usual just uh, Find him as best you can. Best way, uh, just use cross slash while he's attacking or being distracted by Sonata. And, um, and yeah, again, try your best to take him down as best as possible. Facing the last horde, which is the uh, this NPC with the spear and the Machamp Yokai. So we're going to be fighting the Machamp Yokai. Uh, so again, sloth weakness, use the Guardian Spirit. Uh, I'm just going to spam the uh, Guardian Spirit on him so that it'll take some damage and also bring down his stamina. And uh, right now, we're just going to be fighting this NPC. And the reason I'm calling it an NPC, again, they are also can use Omeo Magic and they pretty much fight like, uh, like us, the character. You can see he was using Omeo, but luckily Sonata did interfere, so... Good reason that Sonata is there. And um, I feel like this is some kind of meme. Like, you know that Sonata was all OP when fighting him. But now that, that he's an ally, he's pretty much technically nerfed. When, like, yeah, now that he's, like, by, by our side, like, he's not really doing much. But, uh, anyway, um, hopefully you guys survived enough to fight uh, this horror and were able to proceed to the next and final checkpoint. And then within that, we're going to be finding the final boss within this mission, QB, also known as Ninetales. And I should have mentioned this earlier, Ninja Theory is officially a big fan of Naruto. But yeah, uh, as you can see, I went to the, uh, to the shrine, go to Ready Jutsu, and then I equip, I think I switched uh, Water to Earth Talisman since uh, QB is weak against Earth. 
uh, and then I actually went back um, to switch my guardian spirit and then you also notice on my shortcut I replaced it with sacred brush to help me replenish some omeo magic because we are going to be using that a lot against uh, nine tails uh, but yeah I switched my guardian spirit now to the bunny just to help me increase my low stance attack because we're going to be doing that a, lo a lot on uh, nine tails so as soon as the battle starts um, just immediately use sloth dodge then use weakness and then use kekai carnage and cover your dual soul with earth and then we just proceed in attacking nine tails so best tip uh, just attack with full combo wait for the nine tails to attack and then just repeat but uh, uh best way to uh, dodge her attack easily just dodge just go uh, dodge back and then dodge around because sometimes she would use her tail like that either horizontal or vertical to attack and then she'll also be stomp stomping on you um uh, again just be prepared and then she's gonna be uh now like uh changing i don't know why, why what she did i think she's just trying to change the battle tactic now that her stamina is down just punish her by using a water slash quick as possible before she gets up and then we're just gonna keep repeating right here and then just constantly keep using sloth and weakness on her and then hopefully you have enough for carnage, kick eye, and water talisman but if you're running low a uh, member of the sacred brush can help you out So this would have been the chance to finish her off, but I didn't realize that I was on mid stance as a high stance. So, but it's no big deal. It's nothing to worry about. I'm just gonna finish her off with a high stance. Um, I got almost uh, greedy enough to get killed there, but I kept my uh, cool, went back, and covered my health, and then now that she's down, just finish her off with a heavy attack, just like finishing off with Orochi. And uh, there you go. If you have done these steps correctly, congratulations. You have defeated Nine Tails. All right. We're just going to be gathering all the items and I'll just look through, you know, the weapons and armor and charm. But I do want to say for those who watched all 26 of my videos, I thank you all so much for watching it. I've I'm only I only did this just to support the Neo community and to help people how to properly play Neo and I hope this video has helped you out. I really mean it. Um, I overall I've been getting positive vibes from this and I'm glad and uh, I appreciate for those who comment, uh, who watch and like and I don't care if my views on this get like only less than 10 less than 20 and yada 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 again i'm just doing it for the people i'm not doing this for myself i'm not asking people to like and subscribe but overall yeah i'm just just a guy who likes helping people because uh, uh, i believe that's what gamers do we play for fun and we play to help but yeah uh, if you have any prestige points, uh, use them as much as possible right here. And I'm gonna play out this cutscene right here uh, for you to uh, watch and enjoy. わしの役目は終わった。表舞台より姿を消し、影よりこの国を見守ろう。お主はどうする？
More will come to this country in search of Amrita. Perhaps even another Spanish ninja. <laughs> Sarebo. For those who are wondering, am I going to be um, doing a beginner's guide of Neo 2? I will definitely. Um, I'm, I just got Neo 2 and I'm just uh, going to be playing it blind at first. So uh, within a few more practice, I will be able to make a, an actual beginner's guide for everyone to watch and learn. And hope these videos have helped you out. And thank you so much for watching.